First on Fox, a man has been charged with attempted murder after authorities say he shoved a man directly into the path of an oncoming Max train. It all happened yesterday afternoon at the Providence Park stop. Fox 12's Carly Olson has Oregon. the story and spoke with the Max driver who made a life-saving stop. 31-year-old Michael Moreland is accused of shoving a man he didn't know onto the train tracks and then proceeding to rob multiple people nearby. He was arraigned on... What the that? fuck? <laughs> hey, hey, all right, what you say? The the glider crime just not as fucking extravagant, not as fun. Oh. Like, this <laughs> shit is crazy. You shoved the man, then started <laughs> robbing motherfuckers. This, and you're this afraid is of Portland, police. right? This is Portland. Yeah, and these people this, this are is a glider. Of then this is Portland, man. Like I think this is a glider. Yeah, oh, made yeah. a life saving. Yeah, stuff. right. Yeah, gliders go Michael ham in Portland. Portland. Is accused of shoving a man he didn't know Moreland. onto the train tracks and then proceeding to rob multiple people nearby. He was arraigned on multiple charges on Wednesday, including attempted murder. Michael Moreland entered a <laughs> not oh, oh, right. different charges, including second degree <laughs> attempted murder. <laughs> that joke is fresh from the NFL combine, dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, this is poor. There's no excuse for this. Is Portland? Come on, sons. There's no Have fucking excuse for this. Memorial? Have you seen the gun memorial for Portland? No, it no. Like the gun memorial video. Scene. No, yeah. There's there's okay. sunny na there's sunny neighborhoods in Portland. Hey, I, was it was it Damn. Portland? Was it Portland or Seattle when the dude I went to high school with killed the fuck? Like, Random. Oh, from traveling Chicago, I think that might have been Seattle. I think that. Yeah, been. yeah, he he went to high school with me. That motherfucker nuts. Wow. wow. Nefarious <laughs> nostrils, bro. This is that shameful. Come on, son. Pushing someone off the track, that's a dead giveaway. Yeah, well, yeah, exactly. It is is either a sun burrito or or a sun. Nobody else pushes people they don't know. Now, if you would have been somebody he knew. It still would have been a 90% chance it was the same. <laughs> hey, but, it, but it's somebody they don't know, it's a 100% chance. Hey, at this point, all the sons from New York to fucking Portland got to be in like some group me or some shit that just push motherfucking gliders into trains or something. This shit is crazy. And then he didn't stop there. And when to hear that they're afraid, of, and this son man is probably about 6'4, right? Six four, six five. Yeah, that motherfucker's huge, bro. He like six four with like a six nine wingspan. His, his fucking <laughs> hands probably, his fingertips probably touching his fucking calf muscles and shit, and he pushing motherfuckers from a distance. Wow. Michael Moreland entered a not guilty plea on eight different charges, including second degree attempted murder and second degree attempted assault. <laughs> It happened just a day after Moreland allegedly shoved a man onto the Max train tracks on the corner of Southwest 17th and Southwest Yam Hill. And then all of a sudden he ran towards the tracks and shoved the guy right into the tracks in front of me. Max train driver Dave Chastain was able to quickly pull the emergency brakes and stop the train, and the man sustained only minor injuries. Wow. At first I wasn't all that shaken and then after a few minutes it kind of hit me what all had happened around 20 minutes later out of nowhere a man with a black sweater um just running around the multnomah county sheriff's office says they received multiple calls reporting thefts at southwest 10th and southwest yam hill security guard robbie says he was there the whole time but he's just targeting people around here trying to take backpacks all day i noticed it um he was getting very aggressive with people walking around um just didn't seem safe at all um, and I want to thank God that no one got hurt. He says he saw police arrest Moreland shortly afterward. Larry Myers has ridden the Max train for over 30 years, and he says now using his usual stop at Providence Park makes him uneasy. I've seen some pretty weird and violent, chaotic stuff go on down here, but that tops them all. Makes me feel uncomfortable. You know, it's like I can't relax when I'm on the, on the train. I've always got to be keeping <laughs> that's an eye another, out on what's going on around me. Uh, says it's sometimes impossible to prepare. Yeah, he's dog whistling, man. Look at this. Look what these gliders have created. This this is something sons wouldn't have created in a gazillion years. Like you could have given sons <laughs> <laughs> literally a gazillion years, they would have never created anything proximal, like nothing that approximates, not even a wooden version of this, right? Not even so a fucking like, toilet. Right, exactly. And 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 look at look at this shit. 
intricacy. Their contribution is their contribution to this is pushing people in front. So now, <laughs> so now the gliders will have to make an, an an adjustment to this thing, a sensor or something. You got a that can, like, that can like tell when someone's been pushed and like shut it down. So that will be our contribution to this feat of to avoid mechanical. future accident like that. Yes. Believe it or not, it's already in the works. They already experimenting with some sort of system. Like that a sensor. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and, and more than I, I don't think he's soulless. I think he's brainless because he's six four. He's a big ass uh, crook. Anyone can see him. It's hard to yeah, miss. He does it, yeah. Yeah, he does it, <laughs> he's yeah. not. He's not soulless. It's like brainless. You look at his eyes. Yeah, he, he doesn't care, man. That son man ain't crazy. That son man probably just out here. Like when you around gliders, like think about it, man. Listen to this glider, right? And think about every glider male in this that he would come across living in this town being on some spectrum of this, right? Some spectrum of this. Yeah. Listen to this. Robbie says he was there the whole time. But he's just targeting people around here, trying to take backpacks all day. I noticed it. Um, he was getting very aggressive with people walking around. Um, just didn't seem safe at all. Um, and I want to thank God that no one got hurt. He says he's now, listen to the other glider men. Like these are the spectrums of males. This predatory savage beast is around all day. Yeah. You think that he doesn't his his predatory instincts won't kick in? All of a sudden he ran towards the tracks and shoved the guy right into the tracks in front of me. Max train driver Dave Chastain was able to quickly pull the emergency brakes and stop the train, and the man sustained only minor injuries. At first, I wasn't all that shaken, and then after a few minutes, it kind of hit me what all had happened. So, yeah, he's not dealing with fucking Tony Soprano, man. Yes. He's dealing that, with a bunch of those yeah. guys, man. Yes, yes. Right. Because well, and the thing is, like, he, the guy who did this is an organism who's that evolved under conditions of constant competition with people as predatory as he is. Yes. Yeah. That's, you that's, know, that's what will... his system expects to find in the world. And when he's like just catapulted over the ocean into a world where that's not available, it's like he, he, he needs to, he needs to try to find out where the reality is that his organism expects to find in the world in order to do that you got to go around provoking people it's like why am i not engaging in violent competition all the time like i was built to you yeah, have to make it happen again, there is a an answer to that because he is in portland you you will never pull it out somewhere um somewhere people will just give you a hot iron quick fast like in the south or uh, some parts of Texas where people will not take shit from from yeah, anyone. That's really. true. Both 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 things are true. Yes. Both well, in in general, the sun experience of a glider world doesn't supply them with the danger and the drama and the risk and the violence that they evolved to live with. Like they've you breed in that kind of quantity. It's like sub-Saharan pre-colonial sub-Saharan Africa was a slaughter house. Yes, the shit, the shit that Europeans found when they went to Benin, people just hanging, mutilated from oh, trees, and blood, yeah. every dried blood everywhere. It's like these people, these organisms evolved to exist in a state of constant violent competition for resources, and you catapult them into a place that has a freaking tram like this, and they're like, okay, where is it? You, you, your, your system is looking for it. They have to provoke it. And it's exactly the same with it's the same thing with like children, the people who read gliders that don't understand how to raise children for the same reason they have been forced to forget how to deal with sun people. Because if you allow yourself, if you allow the people that are supposed to be in charge to signal to the people that just got here that it's oh, it's up to you. I'm not in charge. Far be it for me to make this. Then the people who just got here have no choice but to push that as far as it can possibly go. They don't have the power to discern what should and shouldn't be happening here. They just came with the capacity to test boundaries. And if the boundaries that they expect to be like the boundaries in Africa are when you meet a boundary, it means you lost a hand. At least you lost a foot. Way more than that. Yeah, you lost more, more, yeah at least at least. 
So if you're going, if that's what you expect and that's what you evolved to deal with, you come into a situation where a boundary means what? You have to go to such slept into some court where some public defender is going to try to get you off. And it's, it's like, that's no, that we don't feel that, that as soon as you get out, you're going to try to go provoke some shit again because it's not hitting. It's not, you know, you don't have yeah. the software to you, you still, it doesn't feel real. People say there's authority and there's rules and stuff. It's like, that's not real to these people. Yeah, no doubt. Oh, it makes you feel uncomfortable. You know, it's like I can't relax when I'm on the, on the train. I've always got to be keeping an eye out on what's going on around me. Castain says it's sometimes impossible to prepare for situations like this, but he's grateful for the outcome in this situation. We run into incidences fairly regularly where you have people walking into the tracks in front of you, but not something like this where somebody gets shoved into the tracks right in front of you. It's kind of like one of the worst case scenarios. I was just glad it had a good outcome. The judge decided to preventatively detain Moreland until he appears before a grand jury on May 31st. And Moreland requested a hearing to review that decision on Thursday morning. Like, yeah, like, like, they, they, they all right, we're going to detain him just until his, his next ap appearance. And he gets to appeal that. After all he did, he still gets to, in the glider system, he gets to say, "Hey, wait a second, y'all gonna keep me in? Keep me? Um, I appeal that, and a judge will have to say, hmm, okay, look it over, and probably say, okay, you can go. Yeah, he can have an opportunity to come up with all kinds of shit. But Your Honor, I know, I know, I messed up. We not all, we not at our best all the time. But I was going through some shit, <laughs> and I got, I, I, I just, I just wanted to tell you, I, got, I got kids. I take care of. I'm good to my kids." I just need. Oh, I, I just. I got a job interview tomorrow. I'm getting myself together, Your Honor. I said, you yeah. give me one more chance. <laughs> but yep, what realistically right. would happen on that day? Because he already pleaded not guilty, right? Yeah, of course. You always plead not guilty. Yeah, yeah. Story, Alma. David, we spoke with that writer and that operator today, but as it turns out, we've also spoken with the suspect before while covering homelessness and fentanyl addiction. And tonight, he's charged with attempted murder. Whether you're a passenger. I've seen many, many things over the years that were off. Or an operator. You really have to be on your toes for this job. The max trains and max stations can be, at times, unpredictable. You know, it doesn't always seem like the safest environment, but never would I think something would happen to me and definitely not something that random. This man, who requested we not use his name, was pushed onto the tracks in front of an oncoming train Tuesday afternoon near Providence Park. It's had more time to sink in now, and I'm sure... Look at all these white men that are in this town. They're all, like, begging, like you said, for... They're begging for the uh, the predator, like it's 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 almost as if he's like an eagle just surveying the landscape, and these are like <laughs> prairie dogs poking their heads out of their little holes. <laughs> well, the, it's I mean to be fair, that's not a natural situation. Like glide the glider population as a whole has an immune system. It's just been bludgeoned into abeyance over the course of decades with propaganda about how it's a terrible thing to tell to, you. to discern the difference where between no, that's I, where we're I, at well look where we're at now though the, yeah. Yeah, we're dealing with i i 100 we chronicle that yeah definitely the white man has been neutered and it's been a long process and because it's been a long process it's been very it's it's it's, it's steep like it's it's yeah. it's there it's, it's you know what i'm saying it's it's gonna take a long time for y'all to get out of it um but yeah, it's still though, at the end of the day, we're here right now. And this is all four guys that we've seen in these stories. They've all been like super duper guys that you would, when we were roaming through Capitol Hill looking for somebody to rob so we could get some liquor or some weed. All four of these guys were like, we would, I mean, God, we would salivate if we saw one of these guys. They're simply a product of their people. environment. That's why they, they look like that. This is who you're looking for. These guys are prey. They're prey. Sure it will as time goes by. But yeah, when that happened, I wouldn't even say it was an adrenaline rush. I It was 
almost like just robot thinking. Moments prior, another automatic response as operator Dave Chastain witnessed a man sprinting towards the platform. All of a sudden, he ran towards the tracks and All shoved these together. Ladders got like short ass arms. They, and they they like are, something to your TNA they, they, they are all down. They're like yeah, slapping. Yeah. The yeah. shoulders, short arms, hunched yeah, shoulders. All of, all, of, all of their mannerisms bespeak the neutering that you're talking about. Like they just, they're just pre defeated. And look at him, head up. Look at him, head up, chin up, shoulders back. He's, he's he's like an alpha male compared to fucking like Muhammad like he's a Muhammad warrior. This dude is like a fucking Islamic jihadist motherfucker. Who requested we not use his name was pushed onto the tracks in front of an oncoming train Tuesday afternoon near Providence Park. It's had more time to sink in now, and I'm sure it will as time goes by. But yeah, when that happened, I wouldn't even say it was an adrenaline rush. I, it was almost like just robot thinking. Moments prior, I, another automatic like response as operator words, Dave uh, Chastain witnessed a man <laughs> sprinting towards the platform. All of a sudden, he ran towards the tracks and shoved a guy right into the tracks in front of me. And so I just threw on the emergency brake and stopped as quick as I could. I looked to the left of me, I believe, which I seen the Max oncoming, and it stopped. I was told by an officer that I'm actually lucky that it was uh, not a double car and a single car because he it would be highly unlikely he would have been able to stop. As both men recovered from this near miss, Multnomah County deputies say the suspect, Michael Moreland, headed east to downtown. Investigators say he robbed multiple people before being taken into custody. While covering homelessness and addiction in Portland, KGW interviewed Moreland multiple times. It's a cold, cold thing out here, man. Most recently, last <laughs> week, he shared it. like a retarded homeless <laughs> times. It's a cold cold thing out here man most recently last week he shared his struggles with fentanyl i've lost myself due to overdose quite a few times moreland faced a judge wednesday afternoon pleading not guilty to charges of attempted murder robbery and assault court documents reveal moreland told deputies that he woke up as another human being and that his life had been continuously threatened in the last few days. I just hope he gets the help he needs and he's not oh, allowed to okay. impact her. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, That's what that we're waiting for. <laughs> Yo, uh, uh, can, we, can we do a new video? I can't take this, man. Like, this this is just brutal. This is a fucking, like, glider execution. Let do you look like that? Do you, guys, do you look like this guy? <laughs> no, not at all. Not at all. I have like a chin. I'm not like 30 pounds <laughs> overweight. Like I look like a normal person. <laughs> this this is just brutal, dude. Like I <laughs> like I'm begging you here. Holy fuck, dude! <laughs> oh my god! Yo, yeah. this is this is this is bad, man. But um, yeah. Listen, I, I agree with Fabian's um theory, man. Like they can't help it. This triggers them the same way your dog is just chilling. You're chilling with your dog. He's on the leash. He's just panting. You're sitting there on your phone, and then a squirrel comes by, and he just has to chase it. You know what I'm saying? You know, maybe thing. those uh, maybe those sun women are onto something when they talk about the epigenetics. This this might serve as an example here. Yeah, man, this triggers something in 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 predatory some not all some men, but those who have that overload of that warrior gene and that low IQ and that low impulse control. Those that have those certain factors in the in the right proportion, um, he comes along, or or you're just in a place for an extended period of time with a bunch of these. It just like. Bears on you. You have to. Fucking... Yeah, the, the vampire's got to feed, man. The vampire's <laughs> fucking thirst. Even if you give the vampire everything, he still wants like a vial of blood. You know, like that's just yeah. what it is. Yeah. If he, if this guy, if if that, if this, 
if this guy's it, say he's in um what's that called Howard's Beach? Where where, where did all those Italians live at in, in New York? Um or Bensonhurst or something back in the 80s. He has a different that that speaks a different thing. That programs a different thing into his um algorithm, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. For sure. If he's, yeah, if he if he's if he's like on a if he's on a like in a in a in a prison with a bunch of Aryan Nation guys, you know, what Absolutely. I'm saying? he 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 feels is is his algorithm is fed a different thing and he reacts differently. But yeah, when he's around those type guys, it's just straight up like he can't help it. And on that note, man, same black time, same black channel. Ah. Out of here. Peace out. See you guys. Peace, fellas.